Hi, Liana. I want to uh, send you a little thank you and a message of appreciation uh, and a little update. So after returning from working with you in November, I found it difficult to put the experience into words for my friends and colleagues who knew I was going to see you. Uh, their questions quickly want to go to how much did you spend and what did you get? And although I understand those practical questions, to only answer in those terms would be a huge disservice to my experience. What I got was and continues to be priceless. Uh, the time with you helped to put into words and actions what I had been leaning towards for some time. That I am a leader, that those who I have the honor to work with need me to be a leader, and that I can show myself as I am without apology and without taking away from others' leadership and strength. So languaging, messaging, connection, intent, vision, outlook, our conversations were so much more than about being about clothes. So now the practical part. Let's just say, Liana, that you were right. Uh, as you know, I was on a very tight budget. I told you I wasn't the kind of person to spend a lot on clothes or purses or shoes. And that said, I would stop by the mall or discount store frequently. So over the course of the year, I know I was spending a lot of money on clothes. Um, some things I would like and some things I would wear once. My closet was full of beautiful, beautiful clothes and yet um, I felt like I never had the right outfit or the right things to wear um, and it would take me a long time to get dressed. Um, this was frustrating to my husband, uh, both in, in terms of money and um, being wasted and also just because I, even after I would go shopping I would still say to him I would have nothing I have nothing to wear um, and so it was confusing and honestly a little depressing to me um, but I didn't know that there was any other way so um, as you know I bought as much as I could afford from the clothes that you had hand selected for me um, and, and that was an incredible experience. I mean, I, I am, I've always been hard to fit, so I was a little skeptical um, and just couldn't understand how with me just sending you my measurements in an email, uh, I was going to end up with clothes that would fit. Even when I've been with personal shoppers, uh, it would still be that we would have, try on 20 tops and I would feel so lucky if maybe one of them really fit me well or um, was really great. So you know, I'm six feet tall, I'm hard to fit, and yet you, you know, when I was with you, here was a rack, a huge rack of clothes, and every single item fit me. And not only fit me, but we got beyond that and just, uh, you know, just looked great on me. Uh, so it was an incredibly exhilarating experience just in that part uh, of, of, of the experience. So, um, and you know, I'm still thinking about the items that I had to leave behind, as you said I would, um, because I know how hard it's going to be for me to find um, something. Um, you know, you, you handpick and you have this intuition about you um, and you are able to teach us um, how to choose these clothes. So again, that experience was incredible. Um, so then I got home and uh, of course I wanted to share this experience with my husband. This was a this was a significant investment or an unusual investment for our family. Um, we are right now in, in the self-described savings mode. We have a child who's graduating college and one that's currently in college so um, we're very committed to to paying back to saving to pay back student loans etc and so this this um, definitely was a leap of faith and, and at, at the beginning felt like an extravagance. Um, so anyway, so I come home um, having made this investment and following your advice, I did not do a fashion show showing him all of the clothes that I bought. Instead, I put on my new reading robe, or as you say, reading robe, and showed him part of the transformation. And Liana, I'm not going to put the details in this video, but you know what I mean. And he loves that I did this, uh, this meaning working with you. Um, he sees and feels what an investment it has been in myself, and he's so supportive and complimentary, and he, he loves seeing um, these new outfits come out of the closet uh, over time. 
So the next day after I got home with the help of a friend, it was actually Diane, um, I completely emptied my closet uh, of all the black, which for me was a huge <laughs> leap of faith. I don't know. It, black was my go-to. Um, but that wasn't, I've learned that's not the best color for me, so I got rid of all my black um, and everything else that was either a piece of artwork that looked good on the hanger but not on me um, or didn't allow me, me to show through. And so that was about 80% of my clothes. And talk about um, a real poignant illustration of how much money and time I had been wasting. So 80% of my full closet was now on the floor. I hung up my new clothes in my now very empty closet. And again, this was really scary. I'm so glad that I did it immediately after coming home, uh, where I could still, you know, I still had sense of things about me. Um, and there were items in my closet, a few, not a lot, that, that matched and were in the same, you know, that complemented the, the new clothes that I had. But again, this was really um, a very vulnerable time, scary time, but I took the leap of faith and I'm so, so happy. Um, so it's now four months later and somehow magically, and I say magically because it feels like I have a magic closet, um, I have thrived on these outfits. Everything goes with each other and in different combinations. Um, and all, all I've been wearing for the past four months is what I bought which is less than the rack that you um, chose for me. And I feel like I haven't repeated things. I think I have, but it doesn't feel that way because, you know, I do different things with it or with accessories like, like you showed us how. Um, it's amazing that when I'm wearing these clothes, um, they make me look and feel like me. Um, and these are clothes that I'm going to wear forever. They're very high quality. Uh, they're timeless, and um, I haven't worn black in four months. So I also took your advice, and I went to a tailor to customize some of these pieces to my body. And I also had some fun um, learning how to dye in my washing machine um, some of my old pieces that um, were still great quality and and um, the right shape, uh, but were the wrong color. So I've, I've repurposed some of those, so that was a lot of fun. And I think finally... Um, my hair color. You know, I, as you know, I went from blonde, 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 uh, which I don't even remember consciously making the choice to do that, but it just evidently kept getting blonder over the years, uh, back to me. And my best friend from childhood paid me the biggest compliment when she said that she has her Kathy back. Uh, so again, is it about the clothes, all of this experience? For me, it's not. Uh, the compliments that I receive are, my eyes are so blue, um, I'm so elegant, um, you've really made a difference in my life, or you've really made a difference in, in our organization, thank you for helping me, um, you know, I feel connected with and authentic in my work, and I'm approachable, and, um, you know, just, I, I, um, relationships are developing as a result of this and my calmness and my being me. <laughs> it's hard to describe. Um, so Liana, just thank you, thank you so much. I have learned so much from you in a very short amount of time. I'm trying to absorb everything, um, but I look forward to learning more and I'm so, so grateful that you are in my life. And um, I look forward to having the opportunity to work with you again. Thank you so much. Love you. <laughs>